We are now ready to log in to our CUCM server on the uh, command line. So we have to use the platform administration account that we set up earlier during the uh, installation with our secret password. Command line is starting up and we are ready to go. The question mark shows us a couple of commands um, and you will quickly notice that those look pretty different from what you may be used to if you have some experience uh, working with uh, routers, switches, so uh, iOS devices. This uh, platform command line is typically used for uh, troubleshooting and emergency issues, so uh, you won't use it um, for your normal day-to-day -day operation. So let's take a look whether we can already uh, also log on to our new CUCM virtual machine using the uh, browser, IP address 1.170, CUCM administration. Um, here the username is not the platform administration account but our application user, so CCM admin with another password. And we now get a license warning which, which simply tells us that we are running with a demo license right now. This is perfectly okay for us. So if we take a look at the license unit report, we can see that we are allowed to use 150 units um, those are not equal to phones because every phone consumes typically three to five units um, depending on whether we use a Skinny or a Zip, whether it's a Cisco phone or some uh, third-party phone, uh, which of course consumes more points. But 150 unit points allows you to run a couple of phones, so that's okay for us. We also see uh, that we can install another free service. So we can add uh, subscribers to our cluster if we like. So pretty sufficient uh, this demo license for uh, a home lab. That should be the end of this introductory uh, video regarding the installation of the CUCM server. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, our next task is of course to install a couple of phones and make them ring. So stay tuned for the next part of our Zadikov CCVP Labs video series.